So, um, hello everyone and uh, yeah, good evening. Um, as you can see, um, I'm here at home um, and that's because um, I have to pack my things now um, because tomorrow uh, in the morning uh, I will go on a trip with my brother um, to the Alps to photograph uh, Ibexes and um, yeah, I think it's going to be great. Uh, but yeah, at first I have to pack my things and yeah, um, I just have to get my hiking equipment um, and then just gloves because it's going to be pretty cold, a hat um, and of course my camera and um, yeah, see you tomorrow and yeah. Okay, so uh, we're now eating something just uh, on a little bench here. Uh, we have here bread uh, then a little bit of cheese. And yeah, uh, to get um, to get strong again because uh, now we have to hike uh, to um, yeah to the spot where we want to photograph uh, the ibex. And yeah, as you can probably see, uh, it's raining pretty much. And now you can also see my brother. Here he is. <laughs> yeah, <it was. laughs> yeah um, and yeah, we have all our bags here. Uh, it is raining a lot, uh, but everything with uh, with getting here went uh, fine. So all the trains were on time, and yeah, now we're eating, and then we're heading to the location. So we're on our way. We're making our way. Uh, through a foggy mountain forest and uh, yeah it's beautiful here and yes yeah, raining a little bit uh, but uh, we have to go right uh, but yeah uh, it's very beautiful here and yeah the first hundred meters in height uh, are already done so yeah now we have 700 to go but uh, yeah, see you. So uh, we finally made it. We can see uh, the location in the back. I will turn around. You can see it's just a huge mountain or a huge cliff. And uh, yeah, there um, the, the Ibex live. And oh, it looks amazing. But yeah, I think when we go on there, um, we have a we have a um, better view on it. And up there, there is um, the how do I say it in English? Gipfelkreis. The Gipfelkreis. <laughs> and uh, yeah, but now let's go on and have something to eat because I think we're both uh, really hungry. Uh, so good morning everyone um it is day two it is now 6 a.m or something like that the sun is slowly rising because there's so much fog out there so now it's pretty dark um still but uh, yeah we are still in our beds my brother is in the bathroom but um yeah i'll i'll show you the the room here um a little bit later in the day um but yeah um i think with the fog it could be very very beautiful also for some landscape shots or maybe even um getting the ibex in the landscape so i think that could look really really cool and um yeah uh this house here is very very nice um because you get something to eat um, you get breakfast and yeah and the view when you step outside is just fantastic so that i think that is yeah one of the greatest landscapes i've ever seen so yeah that's really fascinating but yeah um i'll now just get ready pack my camera pack my camel flash suit also uh if I don't need it, but um, just to protect the camera, I'll uh, just put it around the camera and put it in my backpack because I have no camera backpack with me. 
um but yeah you don't um really need that so yeah let's see how our room looks um here is uh, just the door here are two beds me and my brother here am i sleeping here's my brother and here we have all our things here 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 and maybe uh, in the other beds will come uh any other people so we have to get our things a little bit to here uh but yeah and then there's uh, the window this is uh, the only slide that comes here uh, into the room which is pretty pretty dark but yeah here's my backpack um and yeah then here is my camera my everything <laughs> no but uh yeah these are just the things and you also need these uh things here for um for sleeping in a house like that luckily we already had those but um, yeah um now let's see to get out um because i want to see what's out there because yesterday we haven't really um we haven't really um got there and um yeah let's just see Okay, so we are now out on the search for the Ibex. You can see the wall here behind me. It's just so foggy. Um, the sun uh, is already shining at the at the um, peak of the mountain. This looks crazy with all of the fog. And uh, yeah, now we're, as I said, on the search for the Ibex. Um, I haven't seen it yet, um, but maybe we will because I think they are more like uh, on the wall because if something um, happens so that they uh, have to run away so uh, any any animal comes which eats uh, them, they'd have to run uh, up the, the wall because uh, nobody will will catch them there and uh, you almost can't see it it's just like 100 meters away from us or even less but you can't see it because it's so foggy you can see it behind me you can only see the glimpse or the peak of it that's so fantastic and uh, yeah that is why I love the mountains it's just incredible okay so as you can see we made some some meters we're now above the the fog and thing oh and that looks good for uh the eye bags could be could be a sign for it i think we're coming closer and closer to it uh but yeah we're both really hungry and oh i can't get enough of this location here it's just so amazing and i also did a time lapse of the fog rolling in and it's so nice to see it and it just feels so so high and thing and oh it's just so beautiful here as i said i can't get enough it's like 500 meters almost 500 meters high that wall and that is so spectacular it's just insane and that is why i love being out in the mountains because the landscapes at least never disappoint the wildlife sometimes but yeah that is that is most of the time like this but yeah okay now we are getting back again we are now in the fog, um, I think it looks so crazy. Uh, yeah, we haven't seen the Ibex, but um, I, I also thought uh, thought of this. As we went down, 
we saw the ibex up there and uh, now we have to see uh, where they are and we have to see to get a good photo of them and yeah, it's just so amazing now here should they be anywhere uh, on that meadow there so yeah let's see okay so now um i'm now going down again i was at the ibex or there were more than one i think there were six ibex or something um which is cool but um i couldn't really photograph them because as you see the light is now pretty hard um and yeah and so i could couldn't really photograph it uh, but now i'm going to have breakfast um and yeah um it's a little bit sad that i couldn't photograph them but i will come back today in the evening and maybe they're at the same location or at a, another location so yeah i hope i will find them again in the evening uh that would be very very good uh because then i could yeah photograph them nice hopefully um because then the light is much softer and i really need a better background so just the grass as the background is not that good especially when it's not unsharp and with the light it just looks very unprofessional so yeah okay now we're on the search for the ibex again and i think we're pretty close to it uh, because we found some very fresh tracks so in terms of shit but uh, yeah um, i think we're pretty close to it so yeah we're going to search now and i will be quiet because i don't want to disturb it and uh yeah let's see okay so now it was just crazy i've just seen an ibex and uh yeah we were just on a hike and i just took the camera with me because maybe we'll see an ibex uh i thought but yeah, then we saw one and it was and i knew that they were just really relaxed when when you photograph them but it was so relaxed and i had that mountain wall in the background and it was just so perfect just the the ibex was so so uh relaxed and it was just fantastic and uh, i even did an insta story while i photographed it so yeah i will show you uh, one of my pictures okay so i really like that one i just got so many uh but yeah we'll probably see them follow me on instagram to see them but yeah it was, it was just so nice so yeah Okay, so we're now out and checking out these other locations. Uh, we have a beautiful view on the wall behind us. And uh, yeah, um, I think here uh, on the location we're now, it could be very good for marmots because it's just a meadow. Um, and of course marmots live here because it's perfect for them. They have a lot to eat. And yeah, I photographed marmots before, um, but yeah, to photograph them again would be nice. Uh, but yeah, I could also imagine a ibex here, but uh, yeah, and uh, down there, I can't really see it. Um, you have a beautiful view uh, into the valley, uh, so yeah, that is really spectacular. And yeah, but now let's search uh, the other locations here or uh, get further up there uh, to see what's there. Okay, so um, we checked out now 
uh, the other locations uh, it wasn't really special um so it was just um yeah just meadow we haven't seen any animal or anything um i tried to photograph some flowers but i think these uh, pictures uh, didn't turn out that good and yeah now we will go back uh, eat something uh, drink something and then um, we will go all the way up there uh, we were there yesterday too um, but now we want to go uh, from another uh, way and yeah uh, in the evening we're going to try to photograph uh, the ibexes um, so yeah let's see if they are there and yeah um, we're both a little bit out of energy because yesterday we went um, over uh, 1000 meters in height and the day before that I think 800 or something like that uh, so yeah um, we we hiked a lot and we are hiking now and uh, yeah but now we have to, to eat something and yeah Okay, so good evening. Um, the last update was a few hours ago, so I just wanted to update you. Um, it's now in the evening, we're now going to bed. Tomorrow we are leaving, uh, but I will just uh, make a result of the tour tomorrow. Uh, to say you um, what I liked, and yeah. Um, and yeah, today we uh, saw, the, um, saw the Ibexes again. Um, on the location uh, we saw them the last couple of days um, so yeah they're really active there and uh, yeah now we're going to bed we have packed almost everything and yeah I will see you tomorrow and yeah okay so uh, now I think uh, it's time for a result um, yeah uh, so I think uh, the trip was very very nice um especially uh of course also because we have seen uh the ibexes and uh yeah they were so um just not shy uh in any way uh so just uh really calm and relaxed and uh yeah that was really cool for me and uh, i think uh, the two two days um we have seen uh, the eye bags were just uh, the most uh, yeah successful days uh, in my photography career um, so yeah um, it was so nice uh, to be here especially also with the landscape and um, yeah I think uh, we both uh, will back be back here soon uh, yeah Okay, so now that was it with this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you liked it. And uh, yeah, you can also follow me on Instagram uh, and on Vero. Uh, I'm also now there uh, to see my photos. Uh, also from the Ibex. And uh, yeah, it was an absolute joy for me to be in this spectacular landscape and photograph here. And also thanks to my brother. And uh, yeah. It was an absolute dream uh, to come true for me and um, yeah, see you.